What's up, guys? This is HF Masters doing another review um, on Toxic Rico. Okay, let's get started. First off, the bag. So, as you can probably see, they messed up the box art right here with Evo. If you can, you'll see that they didn't get his full mask on. So, he looks completely different from the actual set. Okay, on the front, you can see Toxin Reaper. You can see 200 game points for the game, which I will be playing. I may upload some stuff to YouTube for it. Okay, his item number is 6201. He has 42 pieces. Okay, on the back. Then it shows a picture of Toxin Reaper, an actual size of his mask, where his tubes his go, and then the pictures of the game. And, yeah, just so you know, the bag smells like crap when you open it up. Um, cause I was watching the Spider Fives review, so that's what I talked for myself, and holy crap, it smells. Although, um, me, the cameraman, I knew that already, so. Well, yeah. The cameraman knew it already. Okay, so the same thing that you see on the front. Win. Inside, we have an advertisement for the game. On the building instructions, there's a hero core in the background. They should make it like a film sign, though. Okay, he yeah, has a pretty decent amount of length for this guy, 23 pages. Okay, Toxin Reaper vs. Evo. The Combiner, which I will make, it looks pretty sweet. The Add Black Phantom and then the cool one, the Heroes. And then the Ultra Build Add and the Lake. Like that. Also, I got this with it. Um, This is just a little thing to allow you to... Uh, Get the Lego Club magazines. It's like a sign up sheet. Okay, now on Toxin Reaper. Okay, so here we have Toxin Reaper. He is a pretty cool guy, and he's also one of the smaller ones. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's one of the smaller villains. And the others are Jawblade and Thornrax. And he versus Evo. Okay, now to the set. He is lime green, so I guess this yellow is just kind of random. The transparent yellow. He's a lime green figure. Um, he doesn't have any armor down there, which is, I guess, okay, because you don't really pay attention down there. You kind of pay attention to, like, the figure, not his legs. Pay attention to, like, above his waist or something. Okay, so, um... The main attraction to this set is his helmet. Let me just get it off here. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the main attraction to the set. It's really cool. I like how these spikes are like coming out. Pretty monstrous. A really good mask. Or helmet. Okay, now onto the new pieces. This joint is new and the head of course is new. And the head does attach to the middle right there of his body. It's a pretty nice way to make his body, actually. Okay, this transparent yellow piece is a new piece. This Ninjago flame is new in this color. Um, and this is new. And then back here we have a, I guess, a new color if you don't get Ninjago sets. Some people don't. This is a new color from the new, like, hands that Bionicle said, like, Hooky. Maria, you know, before the Gatorian. When they introduced that new hand. Oh, yeah, and a lime green joint. So, those are all the new pieces. Okay, now on to the set. So, the set, very cool. I really like him. He's definitely one of my favorite villains. Well, he's my favorite villain. My brother's a split face, but. Yeah, so. He's really cool. I really like him. I don't see anything bad about him. The real, the only thing I don't like is uh, how his head is like right in the middle of his body. But that's okay because it looks terrible if you connect it to that ball joint. It looks terrible. So, yeah, you really shouldn't try that. I'll just show you. Just so you guys can kind of see what I mean. See, that was kind of funny. Kind of funny, but still looks pretty terrible. 
so now I'll go on to the ratings to the set because there's not much to talk about about him besides well okay yeah so he doesn't have really any hands he just has this there for his weapon so it's actually pretty darn hard to get the cuffs on him I just want to point that out it's really hard getting the cuffs on him usually I just connect it through the tubes or for my EVO versus Toxin with the stop motion that will be uploading soon I just take some lime green hands and put them on him so yeah back to the recommendations so I actually really think this guy is a good set I think he's worth the money I mean if he may not be to some people he could be worth a dollar less I guess but that's tax which is why but I actually rate him a solid nine and a half because um the things that give him the nine and a half is this has no armor there this this is just random right there and how you can like barely put cuffs on this guy so those actually give him a nine and a half but otherwise this has a really good set I wouldn't recommend him as your first maybe third second for villains I guess I would recommend like split face over him big time I recommend you split face and I would recommend guys like Evo over him too and Rock Inferno well I don't have Inferno but from what I've seen he looks pretty good so yeah I recommend those kind of guys over this guy but regardless he's a pretty good set I hope you enjoyed this review this is HF Masters signing off.